Okay, so day one of the carb load, just under 6,000 calories and 900 grams of carbohydrates that went in. I ended up dropping weight on that. This morning at my lowest body weight yet, another 0.2 of a kilogram was dropped. Be mad, it's just, you know, when your metabolism is firing like that and you're in a, just the human body is fascinating at times. Now I am one day out, I'm just trying to keep myself busy, loading the water again today, loading more food. So 900 went in yesterday, I think roughly around 1,000 to 1,100 grams are going in today. So we'll see how it looks. Okay then, show day is upon us. I'll run you through my meal one that was prescribed after Martin. He saw me three times yesterday and then he saw me once again this morning and now we've decided to go with a fairly carb heavy breakfast. First, so I've got a bagel, 75 grams of ribeye steak, 150 grams of cream of rice, 50 grams of jam, 50 grams of almond butter. But at what time is it, babe? Been up since about quarter to six, and the first meal was going in at roughly 7.30 to eight, give or take. Registration is at the venue at around half nine to half 10. And the good news is I'm only about 25 minute drive away. So nice and relaxed this morning, no stress. And as I mentioned in the last one, the first coat of fake tan went on last night. Looks great. It's also worth noting that I stopped drinking around 4 p.m. yesterday. Just had 100 milliliters of water with each meal. The idea is just to allow the carbohydrates to soak into my muscle and the water to dispel and me to actually, well, piss it out. My category, unfortunately, is the last category. So we're gonna to need to manage my food pretty well. And Martin's gonna be on hand, even though he's in Cancun. Martin's on hand just to let me know what and when I should eat. Gonna enjoy this now and next video will be at the venue. It's time. <laughs> this guy said to him on, was it Tuesday maybe? I just messaged him on Tuesday. I said, yeah. what are you doing Sunday? And, I, and he was like, whatever, whatever, <laughs> whatever you're doing. Right, I'm going to compete. And he was like, cool, where is it? Like, no questions asked. He just basically dropped what the fuck he was doing. I don't know what the fuck he was doing. <laughs> but he dropped it and he just fucking, yeah. And here he is. He's my chaperone for the day. He's drove me here, stress-free. Mate, I just want to say thank you so much. Coming for the win, mate. mate thank you so much. Uh, introduce yourself again. I'm James. Um, you've probably seen me before on a couple of Ryan's videos. We go back now. Obviously, Matt, Ryan moved to Manchester not that long ago. He clicked right off the bat. Got a lot of similar interests. Obviously, training being one of them. So I had to be here. I was it. I was with him for uh, his last couple of shows as well. Some some really really good improvements over the last year. So I'm really really excited to see how he fares today. We were at Fitax as well, so the judges have seen him before. So hopefully they'll be able to acknowledge the improvements that he's made. So really really excited. Yeah. Yes, mate. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. One ninety. All registered. Three. A good omen. Bad omen. Three is a magic number, as they say. I've been ordered to have my next meal. It's just before ten o'clock. I got six hundred grams of potato. 75 grams of ribeye steak, plenty of salt, 100 milliliters of water, which is about that much, a glucose disposal agent to help me digest the carbohydrates. I'm just going to graze on this nice and slow. Yeah, there's no set time for stage just yet. Depends on how busy the show is. If it's a busy show, then I'm going to be on later. If it's not a busy show, then I'll be on sooner. And that's that.
Kids. Yes, in lad. Which, of course, gives us our men's class one champion, number three, Ryan Mackins. Come on! Hey, baby, how'd you feel? How'd you feel? Well, I won the overall, so at the moment I'm trying to keep a lid on it. But yeah, I'm going for the overall, fucking right. So was your trophy? Trophy. <laughs> <laughs> First place, today's overall winner and winner of the one year sponsorship from the Blood Lab and the Sword. Number nine, Ryan Mackins. Yes, Ryan, all day. I just won class one and then I just won the overall. So, a successful day. So successful, I've lost my voice. <laughs> you were shouting over the videos, right? Yeah, I'm really sorry. <laughs> so you've got this voice over all your videos shouting things like, Habs drinks, tight midsection, yes baby. So I've ruined all of that. I'm very sorry, but you've got a whopping great trophy. Uh, and a sword. In the shape of a sword, it's, Immense, it's like the best trophy ever. That's gonna look sick in our front room. Absolutely. I wanted to document it because it's gonna be part of the video, but also I wanna be off my phone, so I'm signing out. Mwah. Thank you to everyone who supported me and been nice to me, and thank you to you, of course. Mwah. This is signing out. Before I sign out, I'm gonna have... Don't drop him. I won't. Some donuts. They were, they were given to me as a prize, so I'm gonna tuck into a couple of them maybe. Not go too mad. Successful prep, successful show overall fucking winner that's two overalls i got now baby anyway signing out and here we go i knew you were gonna go for this car here we go here we go here we go <laughs> oh my god yeah good is it oozing oh can i smell it oh <laughs> it's gonna go in my beard have care. you chosen the right one if not bite into another I'm not doing two. Oh, okay. Oh, man. The taste of success. I thought you said you just wanted a bowl of cream of rice. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, just had a shower. So I've got a floppy hair going on. That's terrible. Anyway, I've only had two donuts and some vitamin water because uh, Martin told me to rehydrate. I'm not going to go too crazy because I'm still on prep. Still more work to be done. So. So Amy just said that she booked us a table at Miller and Carter. So I'll have something like steak and chips, maybe a pudding. I might have two puddings. Treat myself, you know. So I've got, oh shit, my beard in the way. This, I got my, oh shit, one second. Oh, this, I don't know if you can read it. First place. So that's my class one, first place. Oh, what the fuck is that? That right there is a sword. I've actually got another trophy as well. Look at this young lady, eh? <laughs> so what did you do? So you, you said... Hi, Fredo, you follow wins and overall. 
uh, and then she comes down looking at this and I look like, you gotta feel a little bit sorry for her, cause look. What's happened here then? I don't know what that says, yeah, I got like a bruise on my face. It turns out, three was a magic number. Who knew? Anyway, quite cool, just like little bits and bobs like this. You end up getting t-shirt, t-shirt, a hat, another t-shirt, pre-workout, pre-workout, shaker, sweets, and a cookie. Oh, amazing. One of them filled cookies, you put the microwave in it, whatever. What was cool, the overall winner got a year sponsorship with The Blood Lab. As bodybuilders, you have to take your health seriously. No spring chicken anymore, I'm 34 years old. So, you know, you've got to make sure I look after those things. A long and illustrious life with my lady. Yeah, fucking amazing day. And I'm going to sign off, try to enjoy some downtime, enjoy a little bit of food. But as I say, prep carries on. She is three weeks out. I am, I don't know how many weeks out because I just pick and choose shows whenever. Um, but yeah, cheers. So it's the morning after the competition, straight back onto the Stairmaster. So I ended up having three of those donuts. I had an Easter egg and steak and chips. So it wasn't overly indulgent. Checked my weight this morning and I was only up half a kilogram. Not too much damage done. Prep continues. I'm back on depletion day diet. Clear off the water, get me back down to baseline. And then we'll see what's what from there. And I wouldn't have it any other way, honestly. <laughs> get it in, brother. Brought I don't, is it, surely? It's a dry one, but after oh, the sake. The one I had last night, that Jeremy Dodger one. I wanted to give you that one because I thought that was better, but I don't know. Mm. Enjoy. Very nice.